Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Regina Cheri Rejoice and be happy, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother Mary the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and it will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priest and brothers of the Society of St. Paul over this Mass for all your intentions, especially for the special intentions of Pope Francis, our Superior General Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, for the safety and protection of all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioner, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. For all the intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass. Special intentions of Julie Obilio Jeronimo, Globo Asiatico Enterprises Incorporated, St. Rita Orphanage and Community. For the good health of Pedro Peña, for healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Remedios Herrera, Feliciano Mungkal III, Renea Buenaflor, Gerardo Lutao Mario Singson, Paulo Espiritu, and those who are infected with COVID-19. For the eternal repose of the souls of Father Cesar Betoni RCJ, Monsignor Ernesto Joaquin, Gian Nicole Bernardo, Mariano Nonoy Cachero, Aristeo Baltasar, Silberio Baltasar, Desi Abaya, Maria Cristina Daniela Tenefrancia, Sheila Teres Strong Pascua, Remelito Gonzaga, Milagros Abelia, Amiel Celis, Leonisa Refuerzo, Remelito, for all the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19 
and those who are enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees, so he called out before the Sanhedrin. My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits while the Pharisees acknowledged all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and to take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe. O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O oh Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who holds fast my lot. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right, and I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, 
nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence. The delights are your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they all may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Right, yes, Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat at sa lahat po ng mga sumusubaybay pa rin sa ating Sambuhay TV Mass sa lahat ng panig ng mundo. Alam niyo po, last year, nung pagpasok po ng Advent, ibig sabihin bagong taon sa simbahan, nagdeklara po ang CBCP ng bagong tema para sa taong 2019 at 2020. Ito ay the Year of Ecumenism and Interreligious Dialogue. At meron itong tema na Dialogue Towards Harmony. Naaalala niyo po ba ito? Kasi syempre, naiintindihan ko naman, yung December last year, o kahit nga yung ilang buwan lang o linggong nakalipas, parang ilang dekada na ang nakaraan. So much has happened in such a short amount of time. And so many things have already changed in the last two months. At now nga, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung new normal na. Kaya naman, parang nabaon na sa limot ang tema ng ecumenism and interreligious dialogue. Two months or three months ago, lahat ng mga talk, lahat ng mga recollections sa simbahan dito sa Pilipinas ay puro tungkol sa dialogue. Pero ngayon, wala na lahat yun. Nakalimutan na nating lahat. Kahit na kung tutuusin, hindi pa naman binabawi ng CBCP ang ating tema for this year. Sa bagay, Sa panahon ng quarantine at social distancing, sino pa ba ang makakaisip ng dialogue? Parang ang layo, di po ba? Kaya ayun na nga, nakalimutan na, nabaon na sa limot ang temang ito. And yet today's readings is all about this unity, Christian and interreligious unity. Sabi nga ni Jesus sa ating gospel, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you. Mahalaga kay Jesus ang magkaisa tayong lahat. Sa Kanya, katulad ng pagkakaisa niya sa Ama at sa Espiritu Santo, that as the 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are united in perfect love, we, in the church and in this world, must also strive to unite ourselves in Christian love and charity. This is an essential part of our Christian faith. Essential. It is essential for us to work towards unity and harmony. Ibig sabihin, hindi po ito isang side project o isang extra lang, extracurricular lang. Kung meron lang tayong spare time o kaya naman pag merong extra sa budget ng ating simbahan, pwede natin gawin. Hindi. We commit to the goal of unity 100% all the time because Jesus made it clear that this is important to Him and made it a part of our mission. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Paano ba tayo makakatulong? O gaya nga ng mahilig itanong sa social media ngayon, ano ba ang pwede nating maging ambag sa ating adhikain na magkaisa? Una, our first contribution is to know Jesus and His teachings as embodied in the church. Remember that the point of unity is not us, not our practices. The point of unity is only Jesus. So we must know Him well and His teachings and the values He gave us in the gospel embodied in the church. Sabi nga ng palagi natin naririnig, ano? Paano mo ba ibabahagi ang isang bagay na hindi mo naman lubusang naiintindihan? Sa kasamaang palad, Maraming katoliko ang madaling naaakit sa ibang sekta o reliyon kasi hindi naman nila naiintindihan yung ating pananampalataya o mababaw ang kanilang pagkakaintindi o kaalaman sa pananampalatayang katoliko. Pag nilapitan ba kayo ng ibang tao at tinanong, O oh, bakit nyo ba sinasamba si Maria? O pag tinanong kayo, o bakit ang dami-dami niyong santo, ang dami-daming pangalan kami naririnig sa inyong mga panalangin, samantalang sabi ninyo, iisa lang ang Diyos. O kapag tinanong ba kayo, bakit tila marangya ang simbahan at maganda ang mga gamit nito, pero sinasabi ninyong kayo ay Church of the Poor? O mga kasambuhay, kaya niyo bang sagutin ang mga tanong na iyan? O matatameme na lang kayo? O baka naman maakit pa kayo sa mga tinuturo ng iba? These questions are about basic elements of our faith. Yet so many Catholics don't know how to answer that. Kaya hindi nila, hindi nila ito kayang ibahagi o sila pa ang nahihila sa ibang paniniwala. How will you enter into a dialogue and share about your faith effectively? if you don't even know your own faith very well. Sayang, kasi napakayaman at napakaganda ng ating pananampalataya bilang katoliko. If only we would take the time and the effort to study it, we will really be blown away by how beautiful and how rich our faith is. So my dear friends, please know your faith well. Ang daming resources online, YouTube, Google, alamin ninyo, makakapag-aral kayo ng maayos tungkol sa ating pananampalataya. Pangalawa, to help unity is to understand that unity is not the same as uniformity. Uulitin ko, unity is not uniformity. Sa ating first reading, nakita natin kung paanong nagtalo at nag-away pa nga ang mga Sadducees at Pharisees dahil sa kanilang hindi pagkakasundo tungkol sa isyo ng resurrection, sa life after death. Para sa mga Sadducees, hindi ito pwede. Para sa mga Pharisees, pwede. At sobrang lala ng kanilang pag-aaway na kailangang alisin si Paul sa kanilang pagitan. Dahil baka mat, sabi nga sa ating reading, he might be torn to pieces between them. Can you imagine such a violent argument? between religious people and yet so many times we see the same thing in our own circles and in the dialogues between people of different faiths maaring hindi ganun kapisikal pero yung sentimiento at yung pag-aaway ay ganun din paano? madalas hindi umuusad ang usapin ng pagkakaisa 
Dahil naiipit tayo sa mga maliliit na bagay, mga externalities, mga bagay na kung tutuusin ay hindi naman talaga ganong kahalaga o maaaring isang tabi muna. This is true not just for ecumenical or interreligious dialogue, but in many of our own communications in the church, or even in our own relationships, families, or communities, we focus on smaller things that don't really matter and allow those things to divide us. Instead, let us focus on the essentials first, on the things that we can agree on and unite us for our Christian brothers and sisters in other, se- in other sects, we can have we can focus on our faith in Jesus and his basic teachings. For other religions, we can focus on our common faith in God. And for those with no faith, we can focus on our common desire for justice, for peace, and for harmony. Doon muna tayo tumuon sa mga bagay na nagbubuklod sa atin. At pagbukas na ang ating komunikasyon at may sapat ng paggalang sa bawat isa, mas magkakaroon ng pagbunga ang ating usapin, ang ating mga dialogues towards unity and harmony. Pero tandaan pa rin natin that the goal is not to be uniform. Dahil hindi mangyayari yun. There will always be differences in the expressions and the manifestations of our faith. But we can be united in the sense that we, are, we understand each other in our common beliefs and goals. Panghuli, ating tandaan that this is God's work. Kasi nga sabihin natin, parang ang hirap naman, Father, para namang napaka-imposible ng hinihingi ng Panginoon. Pero kaya nga dapat ating tandaan that this is not our work, but this is God's work. It is the Spirit of the Lord that moves and helps us to achieve unity. So we entrust everything to Him as we do every other work in the church. We let God unite us and guide us and empower us because this is the will of Jesus. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, Father, they are your gift to me and I wish that where I am, they also may be with me. The goal, my dear brothers and sisters, is not just unity and harmony here on earth, But the goal is that when we get to the next life with Jesus, we will be united with Him and in Him. May God bless us all. We rise for the prayers of the faithful. Jesus prayed to the Father for unity. Waiting for the Pentecost, let us come to the Father and pray for the true unity among all His children. As we pray, Father of all, unite us. Father of all, unite us. That all members of the church may be one in heart and mind in union with our Pope and our bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That the world may believe in Christ by the united example of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, unite us. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into visible unity of the one church let us pray to the lord father of all unite us that each family may be made one in faith and love let us pray to the lord father of all unite us that the dead may be called to perfect union with god forever let us pray to the lord father of all unite us holy father through these prayers may all people be led to that unity which you share with the one you have loved before the foundation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, 
that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray the Oracho Imperata against COVID-19. God, God, our, our Father, Father, we come to you in our need, need to, ask to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one, one God, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a blessed day ahead. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, Live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Guardian Angel My Guardian Angel, you contemplate the Lord at all times, and you want me as your fellow citizen in heaven. I beseech you to obtain for me pardon from the Lord, because I have so often been deaf to your advice, have sinned in your presence, and recall so seldom that you are always near me. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, 
and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.